Hey everybody, welcome back to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews. This week we've got one from one of my favorite directors, Shinya Sukamoto, and this is his 1999 adaptation of the Edogawa Rampo short work, Gemini. Gemini takes place in the early 1900s where we are introduced to this very successful doctor. He's got a good life, he's got a very loving wife, although one day after his parents die, um, his life is kind of sent spiraling down into um, madness. And uh, this is caused primarily by the arrival of his twin brother. So the story revolves around the struggle between both of the brothers, the doctor and the one from the past. This film isn't really scary in the sense where it's gory or anything. Um, although it is very atmospheric and it's very moody and the story does have a few nice twists to it um, regarding the relationships between people and um, what happens with them. So yeah, I felt that the, the set design, the costumes were all very nicely done. The acting was quite nice, the music was good. Uh, overall, it's very nice, a very uh, moody film. I quite enjoyed it. The film was very much unlike other uh, Shinya Tsukamoto films that came before it, um, primarily because this wasn't a story that he had originated himself. Uh, although he does uh, do a good job with it, and like I said, he takes the story into new places where Edgar Rampo didn't and um, kind of gives it his own Tsukamoto flair. So yeah, I quite enjoyed it, and there's also a cameo by Tadanobu Asano, uh, very briefly. So, yeah, good movie overall. The DVD comes to us from Image Entertainment, and they did a very nice job. The chief extra on the disc is a behind-the-scenes featurette that was directed by Takashi Miike. Obviously, um, in the world of modern, popular Japanese cinema, uh, Mike, very big name, and so you get some Mike isms on a Tsukamoto disc, so it was quite nice uh, to have two of my favorite directors on there. So yeah, if you're in the mood for a very moody and atmospheric J-horror that relies on story and it relies on creating a very nice atmosphere, then Gemini is a very good pick. It is atypical of Tsukamoto's work, but I still felt that he did a great job with it. So yeah, definitely one that you should uh, consider and look out for. And this has been Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews. We'll see you next time. That's right. I've returned from the past to destroy you. Oh, yeah? Well, my shades are bigger than yours. So what are you going to do about that, buddy? Thank you.